We're good to go with it. So welcome back, as I told you, welcome back to the live stream for those of you who are watching and just seeing different activities happening. The hashtag for the event is hashtag save a man mama. We are going around forest and with me I've got an interesting person, actually a representative from Amref, but on top of that he is a, a international, football international football referee. Never before have we had an international football referee. Please introduce yourself, sir. Oh, my name is Kelly Nalusa, work for African Medical Research Foundation, Kenyan country office. I'm based in uh, Embu. I'm uh, working on a program uh, which is uh, supporting uh, OVC and maternal child health. I'm a program advisor in the uh, in, uh, Eastern region. I'm also an international football referee instructor. We are only eight in the country. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. That's actually throw that in. So let me first start. Let me start with uh, serious matters about this. What do you, Explain to somebody why Save a Mom and why this whole event is very important. Imagine somebody is watching us for the first time and are wondering what, what's this Save a Mom initiative all about? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, quite very important that uh, if you look at the ratio of deaths during the mother's delivery, they are very high. And uh, when we want to look at the MDGs, we need to reduce the maternal death in Kenya. And it's important that as a country we come together, we partner up with every person that is in the world, so that the maternal deaths are reduced because majorly these deaths are happening in the local rural communities mm -hmm. whereby we have had a lot of issues coming up how mothers can access the health facility majorly maybe due to cultural values or maybe poor road network or lack of knowledge and it's fair that for those of us a few who know we come up and uh, stick together and uh, support the death by first uh, mobilizing people coming up to yeah. see even that uh, we, we reduce the awareness. Yes. Yeah, it's quite good for that. And uh, I hope by the Vision 2030, we'll have reduction of the maternal deaths. I like that. Let me ask, let's say somebody is watching in this and they can't necessarily, they can't come here today or they're, they're watching in there from abroad. Is there any way that they can donate or be a part of this event? Yeah, like uh, we have got a website, uh, especially let me talk about Amri, we have got a place yes. whereby we say that there is a place to donate, yes. whereby they can do donate uh, through various uh, forums. If it's in Kenya, there is an M-Pesa account yes. whereby they can donate. They go to the website www.amrev.org. They will get it. Org. For more information on how yeah. you can actually So they this. can uh, go it. There is an M-Pesa pay account. Yes. Then there is a pay bill number yeah. whereby they can uh, donate wherever they are. Then this one will reach their account whereby yeah. we'll have to use on activities that we are supporting the maternal child health. Okay. Yeah. Moving aside, have you walked today? You did the walk? Oh, I've done the 10 kilometers walk. It's quite good. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to brag around. We were among the first 10. <laughs> we were among the first 10. And it was so good. The scenery. Yeah. So nice. I, whoever chose this place did the right thing. Right location. We are actually at Gong Road Forest. And you can actually come. It's not over. It still continues. Yeah. And then the other thing is we don't have traffic. There's no traffic. You know, in the forest, <laughs> the scenery is so good. And uh, people are very friendly. In fact, you start talking to somebody you, you don't know. We have a conversation as, as, as you stroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a conversation and uh, someone asks, where do you work? You know, you know each other and you create Get linkages. Socialize. And you socialize. And then the other thing is, uh, you start asking yourself, why are you walking? Then you start now, the topic starts up, starts up, starts up. Then people, you, you share in various forums. Yeah. Various, where do you work? If you're working, how is the maternal, how is the maternal death? Like where I'm working uh, in uh, Eastern region, based in yeah. Embu, we've got areas like Mbere, whereby the death are so high. Tarakanit, uh, the death are so high. So you you you, you exchange ideas. And at the end of the day, the walk yeah, does have a good cause, not just yeah. It was uh, it was nice, and uh, as much as we have come in, we say we are doing something, and uh, we are not losing. Yeah. First of all. I've known so many people. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. it's a day out. And you've been fit. Yeah. <laughs> you've exercised. Uh, very good family out. Yeah. There's entertainment now. Exactly. Yeah. Now, there's something that you said that you do that I kind of find interesting. You're an international? I'm an international football referee instructor. Yes. What does that mean? 
Uh, what happens yeah. is uh, for you to become an international football referees instructor. Yeah. International football referees instructor. FIFA referees instructor. <laughs> uh, in Kenya, we only. Okay, I'm on technical side. We've got technical and physical. Yeah. So physical, we are. Uh, we have three in Kenya. Technical, we are eight. So for you to become one, you must have been a FIFA referee. What? Then uh, you must have knowledge on the rules of the game. Like, uh, I've been a FIFA referee for the last 19 years. 19? Yeah, I retired 2012. Now I'm a FIFA referee instructor. You instruct referees. How to? You update them on the laws of the game, especially the international referees, the ones who are going to the World Cup, the ones who are going to international assignments. The club is trying to support the ones of Kenya Premier League, yeah. who are the top most league in the country, on the new amendments of the laws of the game of 2014, 2015. And you realize that uh, people need to be reminded every now and then. So we do that. I like that. Yeah. Question, just on that topic, what's the biggest game you'd say you've refereed? Uh -huh. All of them are good. I had uh, Senegal versus uh, Zimbabwe sometimes back. Yeah. I've had uh, Sperens versus uh, Tipi Mazembe on a club level. And then in Kenya, the last match with the pro problems was AFC Leopards, uh, was Maya, so <laughs> which people died. But uh, the match had to end because as by the instructions, unless the doctor confirms somebody is dead, you don't stop the match. We couldn't stop the match because the doctor did not confirm that somebody is dead. Because the people who died were outside the stadium. Mm -hmm. And the rule is, the only you can only stop the match when the person who is dead is inside the stadium or part of the official of the match, the players. So we couldn't stop the match. That was a very tough match for me. What? Yeah. As you can see, you don't just get to learn about Save a Mom, you also get to learn about people. You get to meet people and you get to be informed about the different careers that people are doing. This is Save a Mom. I have been with... Kali Nalusa. Kali Nalusa. The uh, official referee instructor. International official referee instructor. It's been a pleasure. Save a Mom. The interviews are going to continue, so just keep watching and share this on Twitter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was interesting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>